Okay, here we are, part two. You're comfy. It's about another 10 minutes, okay? So here we are. We're in this part here. I meant no harm. I most truly did not, but I had to grow bigger. So bigger I got. I biggered my factory. I biggered my roads. I biggered my wagons. I biggered my loads of the needs I shipped out. I was shipping them forth to the south, to the east, to the west, to the north. I went right on biggering, selling more thneeds, and I biggered my money, which everyone needs. Look at that. Getting bigger and bigger. And what's happening around. Then again he came back. I was fixing some pipes when that old nuisance Lorax came back with more grapes. <coughs> I am the Lorax, he coughed, and he whiffled. He sneezed and he snuffled, he snarkled, he sniffled. What's lur? He cried with a cruffless croak. What's lur? You're making such smuggle a smoke. My poor swami swans, why they can't sing a note? No one can sing who has smog in their throat. Oh, look at that. Look at the Lorax. He's looking all sad too. And so, said the Lorax, <coughs> Please pardon my cough. They cannot live here, so I'm sending them off. Where will they go? I don't hopefully know. They may have to fly north for a month or a year to escape from the smog that you've smogged up around here. What's more, snapped the Lorax. His dander was up. Let me say a few words about gluppity glup. Your machinery chugs <coughs> on day and night without stop, making gluppity glup and schloppity schlop. And what do you do with this leftover goo? I'll show you, you dirty old Wetzler man, you. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. All from the factory. You're glumping the pond where the hummingfish hummed. No more can they hum, for their gills are all gummed. So I'm sending them off. Oh, their future is dreary. They'll walk on their fins and get woefully weary in search of some water that isn't so smeary. And then I got mad. Oh, I got terribly mad. I yelled at the Lorax. Now listen here, Dad. All you do is yap, yap, and say, bad, 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 bad. Well, I have my right, sir, and I'm telling you. I intend to go on doing just what I do, and for your information, you Lorax, I'm figuring on biggering and biggering and biggering. Turning more truffle of trees into needs, which everyone, everyone, everyone needs. And at that very moment, we heard a loud whack from outside in the fields came a sickening smack of an axe on a tree. Then we heard the tree fall, the very last truffle tree of them all. Remember what this place used to look like before? Let's go back really quick and look. Really, 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 really quick. Go back to the beginning of the book. And it was lovely with beautiful colors and animals everywhere. And now it looks like this. No more trees, no more thneeds, no more work to be done. So in no time, my uncles and aunts, everyone, all waved me goodbye. They jumped into my cars and drove away under the smoke, smuggered stars. Now all that was left beneath the bad smelling sky was my big empty factory, the Lorax, and I. The Lorax said nothing, just gave me a glance, just gave me a very sad, sad backwards glance as he lifted himself by the seat of his pants. And I'll never forget the grim look on his face when he heisted himself and took a leave of this place through a hole in the smog without leaving a trace. Bounces off, and there he flies. Can I find him? There he is. There's he right there. There he goes. Hoists himself. 
And all that the Lorax left here in this mess was a small pile of rocks with one word, unless. Whatever that meant. Well, I couldn't guess. That was a long, long ago, but each day since that day, I've sat here and worried and worried away through the years when my buildings have fallen apart. I've worried about it with all of my heart. But now, says the onceler, now that you're here, the word of the Lorik seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. There's our boy. He's sitting in the same rock and the, and the Lorax telling his story. Or the Wentzler telling his story. So, catch, calls the Wentzler. He let something fall. It's a truffle of seed. It's the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the truffle seeds and truffle trees or what everyone needs. Plant a new truffle, treat it with care, give it clean water, and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest, protect it from axes that hack. Then the Lorax and all of his friends may come back. And that's the end of the book. So... Uh, a couple of things. If you'd like to do an activity with this, one thing I am recommending you do is to take a piece of paper and make those concentric ring circles. But it's going to look like this. I'm not going to do it for you. So if you've watched this and you want to do something extra with this, you can. So here's one activity that you can do. One circle, the great kapok tree. The other circle is the Lorax in the middle. Do you remember what that means? It means what's the same about both of them? So the easy one might be, it's both about trees. They both have trees in it. Something that might be different is maybe in the Lorax, what happened to the trees? They all got cut down in the great Kapok tree. What happened to that? It was saved. Whatever, it's driving me crazy. Second thing is this. In the story, they talked about the word unless. Why do you think that word is so important in this story? Write about it. Talk about it. Share your thoughts with your family. Or send me an email and let me know why you think that word unless is important. What does it mean? The third activity that you can do is at the end of the story, they talked about planting a seed. So this weekend with my family, we're going to start planting seeds in our garden. Um, they're not trees but they are growing. So if you have any seeds that you'd like to plant or if you want to take some seeds out of some fruit that you have in your house and see, or maybe some beans that you have, dried beans, soak them, see what happens to them and come up with a nice activity. Um, I'll probably be posting that activity again in a couple of weeks so you can get a head start if you've listened to this video. I hope you enjoyed the story. I miss you a lot. Thanks for listening.